Good evening, I'm Robin Leach. The producers of Sledgehammer have asked me to explain tonight's episode. Let me be frank, it is an attempt to boost the ratings. There are many ways to do this. Better scripts, more warmth, and big name guest stars. But we're desperate. So in tonight's episode, we're gonna rely on four surefire ratings grabbers. Sex, violence, rock music, and best of all, a cliffhanger ending that will keep our viewers glued to the edge of their seats until next season, thus ensuring there will be a next season. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Thunderbird 1 to base. We just passed checkpoint 3. All is clear. Over and... What the... <laughs> Ladies, the party's over. This is a restricted area. Oh, come on, guys. We're just having fun. Think fast. I must congratulate you on apprehending those bank robbers. I, I just can't believe that you are able to get them to surrender their weapons by reading aloud from the collected works of Rod McEwen. <laughs> Great. You know, some of them were weeping openly. That's true. The truth is that poetry is more effective than tear gas. Remember that. And you didn't even draw your weapon. Oh, no, I tell you, you know, who needs this silly thing? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm no, 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 keep your money in your pocket. <laughs> Sledge, I'm so proud of you. You know, it takes a real man to do what you did. What a wonderful woman. A woman. Come here. I've got something for you. Terrible nightmare. Hey, Hammer. You better get away from that door. What? There's a top secret meeting going on in there with Trunk and Doro and some army brass. Oh, huh. really? Well, I'm sure they're expecting me. This is a matter of national security. I must insist on complete privacy. General, you can count on it. What's the big idea? Wait a minute. You planning an invasion without telling me? Who is this man? Reporting for duty, sir. Inspector Sledgehammer. And this is my platoon. General. I promise you there will be no further interruptions. Hey, who ordered the hero special? Oh, that's me. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh, thanks. Hope there's enough man in. No, I'm sure it's fine. <coughs> General, I'd just like to say that I really am a fan of what you guys did in Grenada. And I love the TV commercials. Come on, you damn war monkey. Oh, no, no, Captain. That's quite all right. I don't know why, but I like him. He, he reminds me of myself as a young man. Oh, God. I was just filling him in on what's happened. A Class D warhead was en route to a secret test site when the truck was intercepted by terrorists. What were they? A bunch of drug-crazed hippies packing M16s? No, they were a team of women in bikinis. Oh, really? <laughs> Hammer, this is serious. That's right. That's why I'm here. She never wears a bikini. Hammer, it's because of my background in terrorist psychology. Well, this never would have happened if the military hadn't gone soft. What you need to depend on is fine, upstanding young soldier like this man. Where are you from, son? This. 
is the man who betrayed his country. And he was having an affair with one of the terrorists. Why, you traitor, you Judas, you Benedict Arnold! Come out! You see, I can't even trust my own men. That's why I had to bypass internal security and come to you. There's a bomb out there, and I want it back. This is a priority one red alert. A bunch of women with a lethal warhead. Just look at all the damage they can do with one credit card. What color were her eyes? Blue. Oh, what is it with this computer always, Duro, huh? Why don't you get the sketch artist? We quit. Makes more money at county fairs. OK. How about the hair? Uh, silky blonde with little highlights. I'll oh, give it a rest, will you? Duro, I'm telling you, this is not going to work. Wait, that's her. Well, come on, what are you waiting for? Print it up. OK, OK. Taking so long. Hold on. So you sold your country down the river for this, huh? Was it really worth it? What do you think? So what'd you say your name was? Scarlet O'Hara. That sounds familiar. It's obviously an alias. Oh, right. There's no file on this woman. Inspector Hammer, they're about to tow your car away. What do you mean? There was a legal parking spot after I knocked the sign down. Well, yes, but he parked on a suspect. Oh, well, he was guilty. A suspect, Hammer. Innocent until proven guilty. Is that new? Hey, I think I know this girl. Who is she? I saw her at my aerobics class at the Jill Taylor's Fitness Center. Well, which one? There are thousands of those. Well, the original one, downtown. All right, Duro, call the FBI and see if you can get a make on that picture. I'm gonna go down to the health club and see if I can find little Miss Armageddon. Jill Taylor's housewife fitness program, Jill Taylor's expectant mother's program, the divorced woman's program. Got anything for me? The blonde fascist pig program, huh? I'd like to uh, speak to this Jill Taylor. Well, she's in there, but you can't go in. Don't tell me, let me guess. She's doing a workout tape. That's right, the Las Vegas Showgirls program. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, oh. six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, hold it, hold it. Take five. I'm Inspector Sledgehammer. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Sure. Keep up with me and we can talk. Is this really necessary? Yes. It's essential for your cardiovascular system. No, I mean, do we have to do it right now? If you suddenly stop exercising, your muscles will cramp up. Oh. Have you ever seen this woman? Yes. She was in my class, but she dropped out. Oh. She had no commitment. How many times did she attend? 700. <laughs> Some people just can't cut it. <gasps> Inspector Hammer, are you all right? <gasps> yeah, I'm fine. I'm demonstrating a police force breathing technique. You look <gasps> like you need my remedial aerobics course. Listen, lady, I'm a man. I can do anything you can do, except conceive. Now let's get physical. Do you remember the name of the girl? Um, Joan. Uh, Mickey. Uh, Carrie. I don't know. You'll have to look up in files. Did she ever do anything suspicious? I saw her eating red meat once. Yeah. 
Inspector Hammer, don't yes. you ever lift weights? Oh. I lift this one every day. Anything else you can tell me about this girl? Inspector, I have hundreds of clients. I don't have time to keep tabs on every single one. Do you know the whereabouts of all the criminals you've ever dealt with? Yeah, the cemetery. Look, you look like you used a break. Why don't you get her file? Anything to help. Jill Taylor challenged me to a workout. I got pains in places. I didn't even know I had places. What'd you find out? Other than you're in lousy shape. Maybe you'll have a little more respect for me when you take a look at this file and find out what I got on that tank top terrorist. Yeah, what did you get? Well, I got a dress for one. 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Thank you very much. Hammer, that's the White House. Oh, we can't bust Nancy Reagan. It's obviously a fake address. The health club must be in on this. Jill Taylor's hiding something. I don't think she could hide anything. That leotard was so tight, you could literally... Hammer, this time I'm going to the health club, undercover. And I won't come back with a bogus address. Hammer, get in here immediately. Ow, ow, ow. I just received this cassette. We have your warhead. Unless you deliver $1 billion to our Swiss bank account inside of 12 hours, we'll blow your city to kingdom come. A billion dollars? Whew. I wonder what that is after taxes. I knew this would happen. I knew it would happen. I could see it coming. It was inevitable. Hammer, you get involved in a case and suddenly it is the end of the world. Well, look at the bright side, Captain. The whole city full of crooks is getting the death penalty. Will you clear the lines, ragweed? We're in the middle of a crisis here. Look, just get off the phone, maggot. Who is it? Some guy says he's the governor. <laughs> yes, Governor, uh, General Mills. Didn't sound like the governor. I understand. The state won't pay the billion dollars. Now, that's the kind of government I like. They don't back down. They don't give in to blackmail. They don't have the money. Oh, so what are we going to do? We're going to do nothing. That's what we're going to do. I guarantee you, these terrorettes are bluffing. But what if they're not? Well, then it won't matter, because we'll all be dead. I'll get that. General Mills. For you. Ah, uh, yes, Governor, you wanted to talk to me? Hammer. Oh, hi, Darrell. It's Darrell. Excuse me. Yeah, go ahead. Hammer, listen. They closed this ball early for no reason. I think something's up. Anything new you're at? Not really. Oh, no, yes. They threatened to blow up the city unless we gave them a billion dollars. What? They're gonna blow up the city? You better get down here and cover me. Get here as soon as you can. Okay. Something tells me the Jill Taylor Fitness Center isn't the safest place to be right now. Tommy Small reporting live. Captain Trunk, is there any truth to the rumor that terrorists have stolen a military warhead and are threatening to blow up the entire city? But that is an irresponsible lie. Then what's a general doing here? He general, well, perhaps you would care to explain? Yes, 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 I would. No, there are no terrorists. Uh, there's no warhead. As a matter of fact, uh, there's nothing to worry about. So what you're saying uh, is that... In general, can... yes. I think you better turn on Channel 6 right now. Six, yes, yes. And now here is another statement from the hooded figure. 
Your puny leaders have not responded to our demands. We have jammed your airways to show our power. If we do not receive the money in 10 hours, you will be destroyed. No warhead, huh? You girls looking for the powder room? Now that was gratuitous. You throw like a girl. Here, catch this. I bet you don't have many boyfriends. Bro, I found you at last. Mission accomplished. Hammer, I want a new partner. Inspector Hammer, we meet again. If my ex-wife is under that hood, I'm gonna be sick. Jill Taylor, I don't believe it. You'll be happy to know that your governor has capitulated. One billion dollars. One billion dollars has been placed in my Swiss bank account. I thought the state didn't have a billion dollars. They hit up Iran for a loan. Why did you do it? So you could finance some army of Amazon women to take over America and make us all watch soap operas and tie up the phones all day, was that it? No, I wanted the money. Well, now that you've got the money, will you call off the threat? No, I'm gonna go on TV and ask for more money. I've got a good thing going. Just like a woman always changing her mind. Enough of this chauvinist drivel. I have a broadcast to make. Yeah, I gotta go too. Thanks for steaming the wrinkles out of my jacket. Not so fast, Inspector. You've had your exercise. Now it's time for your dip in the hot tub. I also want gold bullion, my own 747, and a new episode of Moonlighting every week. Oh, Hammer. I guess this is the end of a good team. Yeah. I'm really going to miss my gun. And you too, Jerome. Oh, and Dory. I'm one tough cop, right? Yeah, Sledge. Yeah. Please! Please! From this day forward, all grotesque men will be under my shapely thumb. Across the country, in bars, ballparks, bowling alleys, every day will be Ladies' Day. Furthermore, Howard! Your show's been canceled. You talking to me? Jill Taylor is a power mad thief, extortionist, and a threat to democracy. Yeah, not only that, but her health club stinks on ice. 
fool. You think you're safe? I pointlessly set that bomb to detonate in five minutes. My God, tell us where it is. Never. Would you be willing to rephrase that? Who even knows if it's here? Will somebody turn off the dang hot tub? I can't think with all this noise! Boy, this is shaping up to be a really bad day. Emma, you can't defuse that bomb. Trust me, I know what I'm doing.